Ah, fall, the pretty colors and the gorgeous flowers. But let's face it, come September, we all get a little bit obsessed with one thing, and that one thing is pumpkin spice. Pumpkin spice latte, pumpkin muffins. Okay, how many maple pumpkin pies do you go through? Between 300 and 350 at Thanksgiving weekend. We set out at the Calgary Farmer's Market to find everything pumpkin spice. This one might surprise you, pumpkin spice vinegar. What do you use it for? What would you put this in? So primarily for this one, because it is spiced so well, we're gonna use it for roasting and, and grilling and uh, high temperature applications where we allow the balsamic to thicken up and get sweet. So now we're just gonna add a little bit of San Pellegrino and make it just a drink. So this is something you can do at home, especially around fall. It's actually okay. really good. Yeah, yeah, quite refreshing. 1.5 billion pounds of pumpkin is grown in the U.S. every year, and it doesn't just go towards pumpkin pies and pumpkin spice lattes. Soap is also made out of it. Now, pumpkin spice isn't just saved for the pumpkin spice latte. We're also doing nuts here down at the farmer's market at Going Nuts. We have a lot of different flavors, and we like to do seasonal ones as well, so pumpkin spice is a great fall flavor. People look for it everywhere. Did you know that pumpkins were once recommended to help remove your freckles? Now, pumpkin spice can actually be healthy. We're not just talking about pumpkin pie and pumpkin lattes. Also, you're doing an autumn juice, which includes a lot of pumpkin. It is pumpkin season, and pumpkin is uh, full of fiber, and it is good for you. There's other nutrients that are uh, quite nutritious. Um, but one of the girls came up with our autumn. Our autumn has pumpkin, pear, apple, uh, cinnamon, nutmeg, and almond milk. It's like a little piece of pumpkin pie in a cup. Here with Shelly, and she has the pumpkin tea. So forget the pumpkin spice latte, we got the tea. Describe this tea to us. Well, what we've got here is a caffeine-free rooibos blend. Um, it's got the warmer flavors of the fall teas, the pumpkin, caramel, cinnamon. There's actually real pumpkin bits, pumpkin seeds, nutmeg, cinnamon, all the things we associate with warm and comforting. Pumpkin pie in a glass. Absolutely. Mm. Did you know they used to use pumpkin in the crust of pie and not the filling? I know, crazy. But now you know just a little bit more about pumpkins, not that you asked. For Go, I'm Kate Hutchinson.